In Sanhedrin 97a, this is very, very, very important. Listen keenly. In Sanhedrin 97a, it says, Moshiach will not come, the Messiah will not come until the whole government turns into heresy. Where is this written? He, the Metzora, turned all white and he is pure. I promise you nobody got that. I'm going to read that again. Mashiach will not come until the whole government turns to heresy, completely denies God. Where is this written? The rabbis of the oral tradition take this all the way from Leviticus. Remember what we read just now. All of the prophets prophesied only of the day of the Messiah. That means all of scripture can be used to understand the role of the Messiah, the identity of the Messiah, even the name of the Messiah. The rabbis take us back to Leviticus 13, 13, where it says, and if the priest, after inspecting his body, sees that the leprosy is now broke out so that it covers the entirety of the body, the priest renders him clean and he's no longer unclean. But he didn't lose his leprosy. But the Bible says, if all of the flesh is white, remember what the skin leprosy is, zara'at. The word for leprosy in Hebrew, guys, zara'at. Remember what skin leprosy is white lesions on the body, eruptions, right? The Bible says if these are spotted throughout the body or or are localized in various regions, he's unclean. But the Bible says, but if the priest checks and sees that the entire body is covered with zara'at or is all white, he is now clean. Why are the rabbis of the oral tradition bringing us to this concept in order to explain the coming of the Messiah? The leprous person is rendered clean when his body is defenseless. Because at this point, the only person that can help him is God. That went over somebody's head. That went over somebody's head. Why do you think the priests were checking his body? Why do you think the priests care where the, the leprosy is localized? Because the priests themselves, with their knowledge, can intervene and help. But if the leprosy has covered the entirety of the body, the Torah says he's clean. How is he clean? The leprosy is still in his body. He clean because we can't do nothing for him. This is on God. So in commenting on the coming of the Mashiach, the oral tradition says the Mashiach will come when there's nothing else left but for God himself to step in and intervene. I promise you I want to drop the mic. Powerful. Why is he clean now? The leprosy didn't disappear. It covered the entirety of his body. But he's clean to the priest and to the people because the only person that can intervene now is God. So to the brilliance of our ancestors in the oral tradition, they said the Mashiach will come when the entire world completely negates God. As it is written, the leper is clean when he's white all over. Because the Mashiach has to come and intervene when there's no man that can help. 